You know what? I've tried farmhouse. Play catacomb. Well, I say I've tried. I've completed farmhouse, catacombs, Paris, biotics. What is crucible? Hard up my basics. Acquire on site weapons. No shit. Grab helpful power ups. Yeah. Chain headshots for bonus. Track your score. Oh, hello. Huh? Can that fit in? Yeah, it can. Oh, this looks fresh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all appropriate ages. Sheds incoming in three, two, one. This is Killing Floor Incursion, which came out this morning. And I say this morning because Headshot. I played it as soon as it came out, because I couldn't get to sleep. System online. Shot. New life path. And uh, so basically, I uh, went through the campaign. There was no one originally online with me when I first started playing it, but mid game, I uh, had someone join. Shot. And. Shot. Basically, I don't know if you can tell or see who you're playing with, because I didn't see his name pop up. Uh, and I don't even know if the chat works or if you can talk to each other. Because... I was trying to talk to him, I was getting no response. I hate those guys. So yeah, uh, I don't know if you can chat or communicate to each other because he wasn't responding back to anything I was saying. I didn't know his name. Uh, oh. <laughs> Got a bit stunned there for a second. Oh, this is so much fun. And uh, this is basically me giving a uh, holdout, which is basically the horde mode from, which you may be familiar with with the first Killing Floor game, well, Killing Floor and Killing Floor Two with. Oh shit, drop the knife. Oh, we got invisible bitches. So, I thought while I give Holdout a try for the first time ever, we shall talk about the pros and cons of this game. Is it worth it? And, uh... It's pros and cons, etc, etc. Get the f*** out of here, you tramps. Alright, I need bigger, better weapons. Where the fuck are they at? There's ammo. I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. <laughs> I am not the hero this world can have. New weapon, up there I'm guessing. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna have some fun with this, boys. Headshot. So yeah, pros and cons. If any of you are a fan of Killing Floor 2 like me, you will like this game. A lot of enemies, well I say a lot, you got these zombies here, that you will immediately recognise from Killing Floor 2 and Killing Floor. Oh, let's go double X. Uh, so there are boss fights during the game, during the campaign, because it does have a campaign, albeit a bit short one. And uh, when I say short, there's two difficulty modes. There's there's normal. And there's hardcore. And there's four like main mission areas, which have uh, the essence of Killing Floor 2 and are inspired by some of their levels, but they're not exactly Killing Floor 2 levels that you would recognize. Oh god, that's a fire guy. Alright, let's get some space. I'm good in health. So yeah, you've got recognizable levels. Headshot. Oh! Chainsaw guy, he's actually a boss in the campaign. I think he's, yeah, he's the first boss you come across. Yes, I know, I've got a face. What's hitting me? There was one behind me, I couldn't see him for shit. Oh, I'm that half health. See, me trying to talk and play a game at the same time is not fundamental. Oh, that was close. Oh, he's up there. And health is there. Did not do me any favors. Alright, I just got a trophy there. Oh, I'm, I'm one touch on, I'm one punch man! Who's hitting me? Or am I just on fire? I could just be on fire. <laughs> okay, I do like this power-up mode. Oh, he is a boss. He still counts as a boss. What new weapon did I get? Yes, yeah, it's a soul rifle. So, yeah. Ah! I pressed... The wrong button. Alright, this is where I get burnt to a crisp. Alright, this is something I'm definitely going to have to play with a friend. I'm dead. I immediately dropped all my weapons and I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, while running around like a lunatic, how did I do?
Is that all you get? 651 points for all that? Damn, I'm terrible. Top player Operation Ghost with 10,000 points. That is what you need for uh, the gold trophy. Nuke Kill Z currently in the world. Duly noted. Unlimited ammo. Unlimited ammo with no reloads. Hmm. Alright, so we have power ups that I'll tell you what I will go to the first level quit to me exit to main menu you calibrate there we go because <coughs> me trying to talk while fending off the horde no you dick did I yeah story Solo. Normal. No, you don't know. Not Biox Lab. Let's go all the way back. Not the intro. Do I want to do the training? Yeah, so we can show some bits and pieces. Simulation. Loading. So yeah, as I was trying to say, you've got some of the weapons from Killing Floor 2. You've got an pistol, you've got assault rifle, you've got uh, knives, you've got a shotgun, uh, there are explosives around the area, here are your pistols, they look nice as hell. Graphically, this looks great. Sound-wise, it sounds awesome. Oh, okay. There's a timer. This wasn't in the original training, but I guess I just didn't stick around long enough. I did it once and then moved on to the next stage. Uh, it tracks well, it plays well. Ah, shit. Uh, ah, I press the wrong button again. Shit. I just terrible. So yeah, that's pretty much how the gun works. Uh, you can holst you've got holsters for your pistols. You've got little underarm holsters. They will take a while to get used to. Because sometimes I try to uh, put them in and it took a while, but you've just got to rotate your body in order to get them around. Pickups. Uh, basically max fill your ammo. See? Uh, so that goes with health kits as well and weapons you press it is what is it on this controller it's square on my left controller and it's triangle on my right controller yeah either way it works you got your knives basically just to chop anything up or if you press on the right controller it's square and on the left controller it's triangle it becomes a throwing knife see and you would throw it like you would in any other VR game see that was actually the best shot I ever took See, not that good when it comes to throwing a knife. I just prefer to stab things up. Just a bit of slice and dice. So yeah, you got your knives, you got your guns, you got a fire axe, which is hilarious to use, as you may have just seen there. You got your shotgun. Eh. Now this is where the game is let down, but not by the game itself, but by move controllers. Because they're based on light tracking, and when you try and hold 
a shotgun with this hand and you have to reload it manually every time you take a shot with this hand it like they get in the way of each other and it doesn't track properly or when you've got to hold it like that it just and the same goes with the sniper rifle especially when you've got to try and hold it up to your sight like eyesight like that looking through the scope is awesome but once again light tracking controllers fucks it up same with the assault rifle that I had there you can have two of them and dual wield them which you will do in the game but holding it like that because every gun has recoil that is also an issue once again not the game's fault it's the hardware we have at the moment that is letting it down. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so graphically good, sound wise good. Uh, nostalgia for those who enjoy Killing Floor 2. You've got some of your zombies. In that horde mode there, I mean, did I. Yeah, there was one scrake that charges you with the wrist blades. Basically just looks like this and his wrists turn red in Killing Floor 2. He's also one of the other bosses. He didn't appear there. And then that's basically every enemy type. So you've got a varied selection of the enemies from the non-VR game. And what else do I need to cover on that remark? Uh, oh yeah... This game, like I said, it. I played it this morning when it came out with one person in co-op on normal difficulty. And uh, it only took about t 2 hours 45, 2 hours 50 minutes. But saying that, there is always or undeveloped clots are the weakest <laughs> of the common Z types. Slow and feeble, a single cyst is not dangerous, but they usually roam in large packs. There is a uh, replayability on this game because, like I said, I completed it once on normal difficulty. There's also a trophy for doing it in hardcore. But there are three endings to get. So you're going to complete it once on normal difficulty. And you'll get one ending. You'll complete it once on hardcore difficulty. <coughs> to get one in, And you'll get one of the other endings. But depending on what ending you get is on what choice you make at the end. you got to remember that. And as for the third ending, well... There's also a trophy for doing it solo, so, you know, you can play it on normal difficulty on solo, and you should be fine, because we played it together on normal, whoever that random mystery player was with, is. And we barely had any issue playing it on solo. I think he only got downed once, and I didn't get downed at all. So, yeah, play it solo on normal, you should be fine. And there's a trophy for each level for doing them on solo. Then there's the trophy for doing it on hardcore mode. Then there's the trophy for each of the three endings. So you're going to play through it at least twice. Or in my case, I'm going to be playing through it three times. And if each time only takes like two hours and 45 minutes to like three hours, you're looking at... Well, I'm going to be playing campaign for probably about nine hours. So, a reasonable about amount of playtime just for that one game mode. Uh, then there's all the other fun things you can do to get the trophies, like hard to see in darkness. Crawlers are not. God, they look even uglier, and they are hard to detect due to their low profile. There we go. So yeah. And like I said, with that holdout mode, which is basically classic killing floor horde mode, uh, 
there's a trophy for getting 2,000 points, a trophy for 5,000, a trophy for 7,000, a trophy for 10,000. So there are a few things to do in order to complete, to perfect the game. As well as uh, completely dismember zombies. Which I shall do with these beauties or the fire axes. Either way, that's going to be fun to do. So yeah, campaign, you're looking at around anywhere between 6 and 9 hours, depending on what way you play it. Uh, there aren't any collectibles, which is a shame. I wouldn't have minded seeing the collectibles like we had in Killing Floor 2. Uh, what else is there? I've talked about graphics, sound... How the move controllers feel, especially with uh, weapons that you have to use two hands to hold with. Yeah, if you play this game, you won't be using a shotgun that much. Trust me. <coughs> uh, the only other down, the only downside I can say to this game, I mean, twenty four ninety nine does seem. I mean. I'm happy paying that, but I can see some people not being happy paying that amount. And, uh... Look, I've only experienced one ending, and I'm not going to spoil any of the endings for you. But, uh... I'm actually not even going to spoil the whole story for you. All I can say is, with the story, I get how this game gets away with uh, because I know a lot of people are still up in their arms about click turning and teleporting but if I go to settings uh, holster preference waist or chest oh we can set it to waist I never did that before calibration calibrate position smooth turn is Advanced movement settings can result in discomfort. Alright, let's have a look at that. Free move. Yes, I know. Thank you. No, no, let's not exit the main menu. Alright, so. Yeah, this feels nice. And this is like Arizona Sunshine. Oh, and you can still tell it. So it's like Apex Construct, more or less, where... You know, you go where your hand goes, more or less. You've got your free movement. Yeah, this feels nice. And I've got my weapons right down here. Wait a minute. Uh, let's drag you out the way. Do I only have one pistol now? I can't see my other pistol anyway. Oh no, my other pistol is down there. Oh, that's sweet. God, that actually will... You will want to play it uh, with your weapons down at your waist. Because every now and then trying to get them from your chest can be a bit awkward. Hmm. And to think I didn't have any trouble on normal mode. Now I'm learning. Now I'm still learning. <laughs> oh, I even got to check some. See, always check the menus, kids. Always check the menus so you know what you can do to make the game more enjoyable for yourself. This will be fun in hardcore mode. Yeah, but as I was saying, I'm not going to spoil anything of the story for you. Uh, just because it's a bit of a short story. It is set around, as far as I can gather, it's set around the same time as Killing Floor 2 is. And... Uh, it 
just based on that one ending I've seen so far, it has left itself open for DLC or a follow-up game, which I hope they do, because I enjoyed this. And I will continue to enjoy it until I perfect it. Which will be later on during the week, I gather. So yeah, uh, Tripwire, Hard Suit, you guys, anyone else that worked on the game, good job, well done. Uh, also, wouldn't have minded to see a few different weapons, wouldn't have minded to see a few different types of assault rifle or shotgun or pistol, but I'm guessing this was just... Because I know this has been out on the Vive, or Oculus, or both of them for quite a while now. I cheated, I shot at the throw knife section. So yeah, um, it would have been nice to see some of the other weapons from uh, Killing Floor 2, but beggars can't be choosers. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say other than uh, if you like, I threw that somewhere else. If you're a fan of Clim Killing Floor 2 and you have a VR, PSVR headset, and you're looking for something new to play, go get this. You will not be disappointed. As hell weren't anyway. And with that being said, this is a typical crap review by me, where I mumble through my words and show some bad gameplay. But what else did you expect on my channel? Other than that, oh yeah, health, and this is your teleport bar. So let's go. Let's actually go all the way here. See. go to the other end of the room and it damn near dries you out so and then it takes a few seconds to recharge so you could do that <coughs> so probably a good thing that I realized there was free movement now <laughs> yeah see I got used to these controls when I played Apex Construct this is just going to make the experience so much nicer now Ah. Uh. All right, enough of that. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all appropriate ages, this has been another average mumble through your words review by me. I love this game. I hope to see DLC or a sequel to this in the near future. Come here. Why am I just throwing you to the floor now? There we go. Oh, that's stuck right in the wall over there. And I shall see you all later.